Welcome back everyone for the next part of Library of Ruiner. In the last part, we had a relatively chaotic battle against the, the guys from the warp train simply because they literally tried to overrun me with charge attacks that literally have the potential of dealing 30 damage against us. <laughs> And then uh, there's another 10% chance of adding another 10, 30 damage on top of it. So yeah, it was getting a little bit chaotic. But hey, at the very least, we are still able to win. I was uh, able to redirect the attack successfully in order to make full use of my unrelenting in order to counteract their high dice rolls. Since we all know how lucky I am in this game, and uh, the enemies, in the worst case of scenarios, will always roll high, right? They always, they always roll high. But hey, at the very least, thanks to them, I was able to get a new abnormality for Yesut. Which means, Yesut, it's time for you to get your fifth slot. But first and foremost, we have to beat the funeral of the dead butterflies. Huh? Great! This is gonna be fun! Wait a second. Maybe I should... Maybe I should uh, give them the, the outfit from... Uh, what's the name again? Salvato Dawn Office. The guy... Uh, no wait, the girl... The coffin girl. Violin case thingy. I mean, if we have the funeral of the dead butterflies around here... It would only be right for them to have access to that outfit as well. Maybe then the fifth guy is going to have that, yeah. Let's do it like this. <laughs> I'm already thinking about clothes, right? I'm supposed to fight fights here! <laughs> uh, cool, damn it! That's a lot of butterflies! A single coffin to pay tribute to those who had nowhere to go, carrying something something. Okay, still difficulties uh, reading the lines from the looks of it. They're always telling such a long story, but I've, I can't really zoom further out than this. I can only zoom in. Okay, let's see. A swarm of butterflies sent chill down my spine when it went past me. Many of my co-workers had laid down in that coffin. Huh? True, true. It breached multiple times if it could. Those uh, butterflies are so cold to the touch. It gives me goosebumps. Stay alert, everyone. It won't hesitate to exploit your vulnerabilities. <laughs> to those who had nowhere to go, carrying the memories of the empty sub. Ah, oh, shoot! It's always so quick. It is always so quick. I offer my condolence. Yeah, you should. You really should. It is uh, quite troublesome for me to actually read this. Proper flower bloom to honor the butterflies. I see. I see. Long ago, people believed that they would become beautiful butterflies, maybe? Can I follow this? I can follow it. But it's so difficult. Carrying the memories of the empty fate. Ah, okay. Okay, no, no, the lines are just way too long. <laughs> this is way too long. All of the butterflies. Okay, okay, I think she, he is already... He's already repeating himself, right? He's already repeating himself. Okay, now let's see. What what exactly are you going to do, Butterfly? Hands of Salvation. Target the enemy with the least HP. Prioritize targeting targets with sealed dice. Tranquility. If all of the characters' dice are sealed by this abnormality's pages effect, they become staggered. Lamentation. If there's a staggered enemy at the start of the scene, use mass attack pay- Oh no. You have mass attack? Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I hate mass attacks. I have no idea how they work. It's always- The queen of hatred always hits me with that stuff. But as long as I don't get staggered, he won't use it, right? As long as I don't get staggered. Okay, and the butterflies? What's up with the butterflies? Futile fluttering. Targets the enemy with the least HP. 
suppressed when the funeral of the dead butterfly is suppressed. So technically speaking, I could ignore them. But depending on their damage, once I roll, to five. Depending on their damage, they could get in our way. Inflict this arm and feeble. I'm going to lower our dices. I don't think I can just ignore them. And what's up with this? Everyone knows up by my Cedric! What the hell, dude? What the hell? <laughs> okay, into comfort. On hit, seal a speed die of target until the end of the next scene. In Clash Loose, seal a speed die on self. So I want to win against this at least. The quiet. 3 to 7 and a lot of defense. Okay. So, first and foremost. I would say I'm gonna shoot them down. Mm, something that can win against this. I need something reliable that can win against that attack. It's 3 to 8. I don't think I have anything reliable at hand. Except, of course, going for the bullseye has a chance to work. Let's go for this then. It's 6 to 20. It should, that should technically be doable. But then I also have to make sure that I take care of the butterflies. They're just way too many. I have to make sure that they don't hit my girl. Two to five, it's a bit troublesome to deal with, but it's fine. I'm gonna hit him with automated movement. Followed up by a draw. Then the Kia, you're gonna hit Probably one of the butterflies. Yeah, you're gonna hit one of the butterflies. I'm actually going to use unforgettable memories in hopes of hitting uh, Cedric with the strength. I'm gonna redirect that guy. Honey, honey, what are you gonna do? You can technically redirect that guy. Avoid against avoid, doesn't really matter. No matter if he recovers or not, at the very least, we're going to do some damage against it. And then you can also draw a page in order to redirect uh, the second hit. I want to avoid him damaging my Cedric under all kinds of circumstances of the wall. And then... Uh, don't really have the light, but we can recover the light by hitting anybody else. Anybody else. Let's just hit the bottom one first, huh? Yeah, let's work our way upwards. The butterfly man isn't going to run anywhere, and those butterflies only have 40 HP, right? I'm just going to assume he's not gonna really summon them, right? <laughs> okay, I got that, that's good. I missed the second hit, but it's fine. There we go, yeah, they, they barely survive anything. They're as good as dead. <laughs> All of them are so good as dead, that's good. Breaking through, getting a free hit on my Takia, but it's fine. He's unable to do anything. It's even better. And he's trying to go for that again. That's not good. I don't like that. I don't have the light. Go for the hits. Deal 5 stagger damage on target. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that the bottom one dies. I don't have the light. Are you kidding me? They all go for that. They literally all go for that. <laughs> uh, sharpened blades. Then of course unforgettable memories. I need to slow him down. 
gonna use some dirt. Need to draw another page. Do we have anything that can win against that? Not really, right? It's five to nine. Five to nine. You know what? I'm gonna cancel that. Crack of dawn. Then we're going to draw a page. I'm gonna attack the other guy with my Dakia. Redirect to honey. Okay, then the key is going to fight against the butterfly man. And the only one who hasn't been redirected yet are those up other ones. But there's really much we can do about that. I'm gonna use puppet block and draw page. Wait, no wait, I'm gonna use Gigigi in order to recover even more light. Yeah, as much light recovery as possible, and the least amount of stagger damage. Not entirely sure if the key can win this, but at least one butterfly is down. Okay, we failed that. Oh, the key. Don't really like it, but kind of had to happen. Wait, kind of had to happen. Got a free hit. Come on, get. Oh, it's still alive. It's actually still alive. Okay. Yes, it. You're gonna get that. Guided hand on hit. Seal a speed die. Ah. Right. The key is low HP now. And if both dice are sealed, it's going to get staggered. He is going to get staggered. Oh no. And that's on hits. He's certainly going to get staggered now. Nobody's fast enough. And this? No wait, that's, that's just going to break through. I can't stagger him. I can't stagger him and I can't intercept it either. And if I can't intercept it either and he's going to end up staggered anyways... I should focus down on the others then, right? Yeah, we're going to focus down on the others. I'm gonna draw a page. While using mannequin. Rehearsal on that one. Gigigi for light recovery. Or should I just save the cards? And then again, I need to make sure that they die. Okay. I'm just gonna eat the hit with the key. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it does a lot of damage. At the very least, technically speaking, you're not staggered. Which means he should be able to use his mass attack, right? He should be able to use his mass attack now. Hopefully. <laughs> I really hope it's going to be the case. After having free clash win, restore more light and haste. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to uh How about I go to give that to Cedric? Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work out nicely. They're all so fast! Okay, you're gonna get the hit. It's fine. I'm gonna use indescribing shooting. I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna hit you with everything that I have. 
Put a slow you down. Gain some light. Gee gee Come on, honey. Take care of the other butterfly. Actually speaking, I'm going to redirect the hits. It is easier for honey to kill the other butterfly. I think. Yeah, that should be easier for her. Okay. Great. Why are you faster than me? Why, why were you faster than me? I could have sworn that I should have been able to... Oh, that is probably ranged. Right, butterfly. He was... He just flings the... 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 the finger gun, right. Totally. An eternal rest. May you rest in peace. It's definitely chilly. A uh, chilly, yeah. I left a bit of taste. Let's head back for now. It's a little bit dangerous, doesn't it? Peaceful dead. Our work is done. So let us return. What do you mean with that? We're not even close to being done. Mass summation on hit. If target is staggered, deals damage equal to the target's current HP. Which means what? Huh. Either way. Summation. You said summation. They also need to take care of this one. And I need to make sure that the butterfly dies. Which means I need to hit you with a puppet blockade. I'm going to hit you with a pressed flesh. A little bit of a dirt in order to slow you down. Paralysis is already slowing you down, but I need to make it even slower. Come on! Oh god! You got hit by it! But it's fine! Come on, guys! <laughs> hit it where it hurts! Hit it where it hurts! I'm gonna boost your, your power even further. Are you kidding me? How much damage would that do? You have to tank that, that's for sure. I'm gonna block against the second hit. You have to tank that one. And the butterfly should die. Okay. This is not going so well, currently. This is seriously not going so well. Instant stagger! Instant stagger! Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Why do you get instant stagger? Butterfly! <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Okay, automatic movement. I have to break through it somehow. I need to get rid of that stupid butterfly. I'm gonna take the hit of the second one. Oh god, thank you. Yes, butterfly dead. Yes, it. <laughs> it's you against that thing. Can you win? Probably not. I need the defensive dice. I can't get to that. If the barbarian aspects light. I think we're going to go for the clean. Yeah, let's go for the clean. Oh, never mind. I gave him the one that lowers uh, the speed. Three, two, eight. Sure, why not? Why not, right? Why not? Let me double draw. Let me just double draw. Why don't you? Oh my god, I got a stagger. I actually got a stagger. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god! Come on, Yetzut! Come on! You can do this! I need to save... I need to save... That card, though. So you're going to get... Uh, repressed flesh. And we're going to save the other cards. Or am I able to do enough? I don't know. I don't know. No, I need I need that for the next one. Well, good luck, yes, let's. Holy hell! At the very least, it does a lot of damage, right? At the very least, it does a lot of damage. Okay. You. Get this one. You use it twice. You actually use it twice. And I have the feeling that you're just going to stagger me instantly again. I don't like that. Holy hell. Holy hell, you actually prefer! You actually prefer! Yes! <laughs> what? What? Okay, wait. Automatic movement. Gigi. Come on. Oh, that was unlucky as heck. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, I can look! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> what? How? How? I barely... I can barely move! I don't have cards, is it? I don't have cards! Look! Oh my god! Yeah, no way! No way! Oh, he's gonna get the stagger. Oh, nah. You know, nah. yes, it's gonna die. Yeah, oh, that was to be expected. So it was kind of pushing it, fighting him with yes and no. I I didn't see that it was range. It I didn't see that it was range, but it doesn't really seem so bad, right? It's just, it's just I just need to rearrange uh, the hits a bit. I need to rearrange the hits a bit. First and foremost, you come over here. You indiscriminate shooting against that guy. It actually uses twice. That's not a good thing. Redirect it again. I need to make sure that it doesn't hit uh, by Cedric, since uh, Cedric only has one speed die, and if that could see it, we are screwed. Okay. Then, unforgettable memory. Hit it again. We have to make sure that they die. We have to make sure that the butterflies die. Actually speaking, go back with that. I'm gonna use rehearsal. And draw again on the bottom butterfly. We're going to ignore the other ones. And focus on one at a time. We have to make sure that they die. This is very important business. They have to die. Come on. One free hit. Good. Perfect. One of them is already down. Cedric. Tank like a champ. You have to tank. You have to tank like a champ. Okay? Okay. Automated movement. Covering of the lights. Let's 
redirect the front dice. Take a shot. I'm gonna endure one of their hits. Draw a page with the bottom one. Unforgettable memory, once again. Draw a page. Or can I redirect the hit? Two four. I can use. I uh, no. I don't have the light. Never mind. Okay, redirect it back to honey, and hope for the best. Of course you hit me. Of course you hit me with the seals, piggy. <laughs> Barely got any good rolls on my my set trick. It's fine. Very least, at the very least, I'm going to dish out quite a lot of damage on the butterfly. Never mind. It was able to get the stagger. This is not good. This is not good. Do stop the acid again. To make sure that it doesn't hit. Deal with that. Sharpen blades. Press flash. And do the other butterfly. And hope for the best. Okay. I think Cedric survived the mass attack. Cedric actually survived the mass attack. I can't believe it. At least for a second. Oh, she still survived! How did you still survive? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, take the butterfly down. Uh, restore light after three clashes. Oh my god. Yes, it is also staggered, which means he's gonna go for it again. Are you kidding me right now? You got to be kidding me right now! Break of Dawn. Go for the rehearsal. In the spiraling shooting. I can draw a page. I'm gonna boost up the damage even further and hope for the best. Yeah, I have to hope for the best. Okay, guys! Please survive! Yes, it is dead. Not good! Not good at all! <laughs> okay, that barely did any damage. It seems like during uh, the space of the battle, the butterflies are getting protected by the effect itself. And they also deal a lot of damage against us, which is not very good. Oh, are you serious? Okay. Sharp blades. Let's be serious. I think it is, it is it is a range attack. I have a chance of winning with sharp blade and draw. It's not very likely. But it's a chance. I'm gonna shoot that girl or rather that butterfly down. Gigi to win, as well as endurance, in order to uh, slow the butterfly man down. Okay, one butterfly down. Of course, you hit me at least twice. At the very least, I was able to seal. Uh, right, I blocked the seal hit. That's all that really matters, right? 
I just need to make sure that the the seal hit doesn't get triggered. And he's still going for it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it down at least once. This I can draw a page. Redirect towards the key. I need to boost up the damage, otherwise it is going to be difficult either way. For him it is going to be very difficult. But there isn't really much we can do about it. Okay, block the first hit, block the second hit. Come on the key! Come on, honey! Get him! You have to get him! Freaking hell! In the scrabble shooting. Break of dawn. Reversal. Raw page. It's 3 to 8. Come on, guys! You got this! You got this! Oh! Okay! We broke through! It's good! <laughs> this is so ridiculous! Why are you always doing this to me? Ah, uh, the worst part about this is... Uh, there's literally nothing I can do. Oh, returning fire! You have the strength buff. You only have one chance of uh, landing it though. And at the very least you're not going to get staggered. Let's try to think positive about this. You are not going to get staggered. And that's literally the only positive thing around here. Okay, I'm gonna... Hit you with everything that I have. Put paralysis on you. And uh, probably save my energy for the next round. Yeah, that was to be expected. At the very least, he's not able to use the second dice. Oh my god. Hide. I need to check something. Entirely sure if honey has uh, any good dice. I don't know. I'm gonna go for the musical addiction. Come on, Dickie. Crazy stuff relies crazy, crazy solutions, right? <laughs> oh no! You have to draw! You have to draw! I'm gonna use sharp blades for the second hit! In the actuality, I'm going to use memories for that. I'm also going to add bleed effect. Just for the heck of it. Actually speaking, you need to redirect it. He is only targeting your last die. Come on, you two! Oh, you actually... You actually hit her. I can't believe it that you actually managed to hit her with that. I don't get this done. At least you weren't able to stun her either. And you aren't even going for the Dada move. Get the memory. You know what? It's a three to seven. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, honey. 
I really don't know. I could redirect it towards uh, the Kia. He has more. Uh, he has more stagger resistance. And I'm probably going to do that. Okay. Good luck. Oh my god! You actually got a couple of good hits. It's good. Oh shoot! <laughs> shoot! <laughs> uh, this is not good. This is not good. I don't have the light. Why do I not have the light for this? Oh my god. Honey. Why are you... Why are you so good, honey? Why are you so good, honey? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have the light, though. Yeah, there's no way you can pull that off again, right? There's no way you can pull that off again. Deck, you still survive it! You are still surviving it! How? How? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna redirect one of the dice towards uh, the Kia. Dark Cloud has a decent chance. Oh, there's no way! There is no way! There's no way Honey can survive this again. What? 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 <laughs> oh my god! How did you... How did you survive this? Honey? How? How? <laughs> what? Well, uh... Okay. Take that! Sure, why not? Uh, level 5, Assistant Librarian Awoken! A new person arrives! And of course, a couple of new pages. Eternal Rest. People believe that they would become beautiful beings with small wings when they die. It's a silly story, nonsensical too. Single ally. Deal 2 between 7 damage and 2 between 5 stagger damage against enemy with the lowest current HP. Oh great, I love that ability. Then we have Lament. They say the mourner with, uh, with a huge luggage on his back had come to be a savior to all. One a single ally, deal 2 4 damage against an enemy with a status ailment. If the librarian has a status ailment at the start of the scene, Gain one two strength. Meaning, if I have a bleed deck, no wait, it, it has to be on the start of the scene. It doesn't, it doesn't carry over the next scene. Not too bad. It could have worked perfectly with Chicken. If it doesn't have to be on the start. <coughs> Anyways, uh, then we have Coffin. Is carrying uh, a coffin, a large coffin to pay tribute to the employees who have nowhere else to go. It is still too small to comfort those innocent sacrifices. Single ally. On hit against an enemy whose HP is at 50% or lower, seal one speed die at the target. Uh, of the target. Twice per scene. Excluding mass attacks. I can seal speed dice like him. With the 50% chance. So as long as the person who actually uses it is able to hit multiple times, I should at least get one of those hits, right? Oh, this is gonna be good! That's... The Butterfly Man is really good, but... Why was there no cutscene? Why? Wait... Shouldn't there be a cutscene of Yesod? Shouldn't it be? Wait a second, let me see that. 
No, that's something that we already saw. Okay, that is weird. Why was there no cutscene? We should have we should have had a cutscene, right? Huh. Um never mind then. Maybe the last slot doesn't have one? But then again, wait a second. There is still one more thing for us to unlock. Even though we have all the employees around here, but still there's still he still has one more abnormality waiting for us. Maybe one abnormality before the last isn't significant. And that is why there was no cuts. I, I don't know. And I, I guess we just have to wait until the next abnormality of the other floors show up. If they also don't come off a cutscene, then we have proof that the, the fifth one is just... Uh, no, wait. The fourth one is just unimportant. Which is still weird, since it gave me quite a lot of trouble. <laughs> can still can't believe it that we actually won that, but... I guess we did! Oh god, butterfly man. Yeah, uh, whoever this is going to be, you're going to look like uh, that one girl from the Dawn office. I can already say, you're probably also going to play around uh, the coffin in its entirely. Just going to say that all outright. You're probably going to play around that. Oh my god, okay. How much time did that take? Okay, that took around 30, 40 minutes just because of one butterfly man. <laughs> Holy hell! Holy hell! Why was that fight so ridiculous, right? Why was that fight so ridiculous? <laughs> oh my god. But hey, at the very least, at the very least, we have now five employees, so that's good. Not entirely sure if I can send out an invitation in that time frame. Since the last two battle, both took around 30 up to 50 minutes, so uh, I don't know about that. But hey, actually speaking, if you think about it, it's been a while since I had a chance to read more of the cadenzas, right? I mean, I did say that I wanted to read them once we have a match, and I think the last one that I read was... Uh, was about the... Uh, wait, where is it? Was about the uh, Isadora and the... Uh, God, names. Ah, I forgot the names. Sun, Mars and uh, Lulu. I wanted to read Isadora and the others afterwards, after getting their full story, but it's actually been a while, right? It's actually been a while since... Uh, I had the chance. Where are they? Ah, there they are! Now the question is, should I really read them or maybe should I read one of the others? I mean, we did find quite a lot of interesting people around here. The stray dogs, the last, the others, the random guys that I was able to find around here. We also have the carnivals, full stop office, dawn office, the gazers. I should have probably started reading them a bit more frequently now that I look at it. I mean, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. You know what? You know what? I mean, we did fight against the, the, the butterfly. And I did say that one of those uh, new employees is going to look like Yuna, simply because she has a coffin. Uh, I mean, uh, the briefcase that also has the butterfly logo on it. Maybe, since there wasn't really any story parts with Yesod, I'm just going to read their stories, huh? I mean, it would be kind of fitting, right? It would totally be fitting. But we're probably going to start off with uh, Salvador first. Yeah, let's start with him first. Salvador. Case name, Thousand Needles. Serial code, DN00113. Great urban legend. Date of occurrence, can't really tell. Description. This document is a compilation of relative information on the case of Thousand Needles, which occurred in the back street of District 22. While a clear conclusion on this case has yet to be made, it is speculated to be a case of, a, of the distortion based on the apparent inability to confirm the cause of 
or analysis the composition. Right, you can't really analyze light, and the distortion is similar to that, since you weren't really able to analyze our library either. Which is understandable, since uh, it is ever changing, right? It is ever changing. Case report Entity A01. The first apparent source of the incident was wandering the back street of District 22 before swelling up and exploding. Numerous needles were dispersed dispersed upon the explosion, flying in all directions. The needle which struck onto building walls caused the site of impact to melt and crack. When the human was struck with one of the needles, the antifer transformed into A02, which, uh, yeah, A02, going through the same bizarre process of detonation A1 did. The orange symbol on the nap of A1 01 snake was also found in the needles discharged from its body. When I arrived at the scene, after taking the request, the bit of flesh scattered around the streets began to merge into one giant body using brainstem focus resonator, becoming a 3 meter tall, 10 feet mass that I will refer to as A3. A3 began throwing large needles the lengths of which varies between 1 to 3 meters, and like the small needles fired from the explosion of A1 and A2 that could only leave small dents on building construction, the giant needles flung by A3 causes building to helplessly melt. In addition, local residents who stared into the entity's eyes or holes in its body soon produce a boiling sound before turning into A2 so I had to forbid people from observing it closely. Which means anything that observes that occurrence are also going to end up exploding and causing even more of those troubles. The heck, it's literally a chain reaction. A1 visited OO's office to give a request four days prior to the incident, referring to audio transcript of testimony from a fixer of OO's office. Judging by what they said, such a such as made a deal with the devil, a terrible thing will happen if I break the contract. It is speculated that yesterday's promise is behind the incident. So you made a deal with the devil and broke the contract? Is that the reason why it happened? Audio description of testimony from Fixer of OO Office. File name S0012 and the date. I'm fine. Can I just talk like this? Oh, okay, got it. When was it? The person visiting our office last Wednesday, if my memory serves me right, they introduced themselves as an ordinary resident of the back street of District 22 and said they urgently needed help, with a huge bag under their eyes and their hair was a tangled mess. Their eyes were lifeless and blurry and there was some sort of symbol on their neck. As if they've been attacked by a stigma worker workshop's product. The desperation was palpable. They couldn't even walk straight, and they were straining to approach me with their awkward steps. I managed to calm them down, and they said, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how I should explain it. In short, they made a contract with a devilish person of some kind. They are scared that they might break the contract. So they were now asking us to take care of the devil, so it can't kill them as punishment. It still don't get whether I still don't get what that was about. Even though I'm talking about it, to be frank, I just couldn't understand what they were saying. That's just because the level of knowledge and manner of speech was lamentable, inferior. No. All the others were ser serious of simple words. But the splendid image delivered in those hysteric words they let out like they were possessed by something. I can't dare to try to describe them. They kept saying confusing things like, We'll screw up people's head and make a necklace out of them to offer to it. They keep getting closer. They multiply the numbers. They approach from inside me. All with a mysterious bright glint in their eyes. Oh, our office records consulted with our... A consolation with our clients by principle. You will see how confused the whole situation was if you give the file a listen. 
Don't worry, we recorded them with the client's consent and everything, so there's nothing illegal about this. Refer to evidence F1 OO Office Counseling Audio Record. But what can I do? Really? The whole deal with devil thing just sounds too unrealistic. I honestly thought they were lying. So I made up an excuse to turn them away. And that lead to the whole catastrophe. Because they weren't able to help him. He broke the promise. Exploded into thousands of needles. And everyone else around him die as well. Because they didn't take it serious. But which kind of deal did he even make? And why was he so worried about breaking the contract? He just he just has to listen to that thing, right? If he just followed the contract, it shouldn't really it shouldn't have ended like this, right? Interesting. Okay. But that's good to know. Uh, Yuna, what do you have? Another transcript of the testimony from District 22, Resonant 1. Ah, it's so just a continuation. But that's good. File name S0019. Omitted. I think it was last Monday. Darren said something strange to me. They told me that they made a contract with someone and they are scared that they might break it. They said they don't know what horrific it a horrifying penalty they will have to face upon breaking the contract. I tried to calm them down, saying they should uh, they should be fine as long as they don't actually breach the contract. But Derry got ticked off and complained that it's unfair how they're supposed to comply with unfavorable terms hidden in the fine print. Then they broke into tears, saying they're doomed anyways. They apparently agreed to three tasks in exchange for gaining power. Fine print? Oh my god! I mean, if you deal with a if you deal with a devil, of course they're going to be fine print. They want everything to be in their favor. And preferably, maybe if you break the contract, they're going to gain your soul or something like that, right? <laughs> Audio transcript of testimony from District 22, Resident 2. File name S0021. It's the same day, right? 25. Do I really have to recall that messed up memory? Alright, if it's necessary to prevent another incident from happening, I guess there's no choice. You can record it, sure. I, I don't remember everything that happened, actually. That day was just like any other, except that Marie showed up in the streets after going missing for a few days, looking awfully gaunty. Other than that, the weather was normal and the streets were the same as always. I know that's when the incident started. Derry was walking the streets as they mumbled something, but they didn't seem to be heading to a specific destination. It's like they were staring off into space and forcefully dragged their feet along. They said strange things like something keeps coming or boiling. They were always a bit weird, a bit of a weirdo, so that didn't really bother me too much. But then, Terry's body began swelling up. All I could think at, uh, all I could think at the moment was how funny they looked, expanding like a balloon. The scene was so unrealistic. Maybe it was the shock of confronting an unbelievable situation, paralyzing the human brain, or the brain began to believe that it's only a dream and marveled at the scene. It was just standing still and staring at what was going on. Am I really in reality? Before I could gather myself, the incident happened. Derrick's body blew up and weird needles went... Uh, wait. Weird needles went. This Nadid, who was standing in front of me, was struck, struck with one of the needles, and her body swelled up and exploded into a shower of needles as well, just like Derrick did. I luckily managed to get away without getting hit by any of them. I ran right to this office without turning back once, and now, now I don't think I can get back there. I wonder if anyone else lived. If my friend Majin is alright. If her house is fine. I'm curious, I'm curious, but I just can't go back. I can't do it. What do I do? I don't want to go back to... The interviewer breathes, uh, breath became coarse and unstable afterwards. Recording was suspended and it was deemed that the interview could no longer be proceeded. 
So that guy was able to witness it all. Before it happened, what happened to A2s? But he escaped before anything happened with the A3s. Which means he isn't aware that uh, A3 were building itself from stem cells and destroyed the surrounding area as well. Since uh, he wasn't really sure if his house is still standing, right? Yeah, I can understand why he didn't want to return. I mean, there's nothing left for him, right? There's literally nothing left for him. All his friend dies, his home is gone, the traumatic memories remain, but I don't know if, if he wants to recall them at all. I mean, he even stated at the beginning that he, he didn't want to remember, right? He didn't want it to. But he did with the case of uh, this testimony. Oh god, this is seriously messed up. This is really messed up. Kind of too bad that uh, Philip's key page isn't around. There is a chance he might have uh, included another piece into this report as well. Since both of them were going into the same direction. Well, that's fine, maybe we can add that later, right? Maybe we can add that later. But, I would say, this is a good point to make a little cut. After all, it seems like the stories in general are a bit on the long side. And I'm not entirely sure if I can fit in another one of them without going a bit overboard in the parts length, right? Because I seriously can't tell how I'm going to cut the, the butterfly fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is interesting. I should, I should totally start reading them more often. Maybe every time once I start or rather once I finish uh, an invitation and still have some time remaining, huh? I mean the fights are getting longer and longer. It's perfect for that, right? And I need to still think about our new employee. I don't think anybody was interested in the last spot of his team. So I need to prepare another person accordingly. But we'll see, right? We'll see. I still have time to figure that out. Maybe I'm going to save that until Friday. Then I have even more time for that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. And see you in the next part. Until then. Bye-bye. <laughs>